Hi guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahamaya.com. In this beautiful tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do business operation verifications in a Google Ads. So here you can see one of my client, he filled the business verification, but that business verification got failed on 16th. Again, I filled the business verification on 16th November. And here today you can see on 18th November 2023, the business verification got successful within two working days. So if you'll fill everything perfectly, there's nothing like it will get declined from the Google. Whenever you do business verifications, we have two kinds of business. Number one is organization. Here you can see organization and number two is individual. For individual, we need a document that is either passport, national ID card, driving license, residence proof for the verifications. And if you are doing for uh, organization you need business corporation certificate or the gsc or the license uh, tax certifications or the vat certificate you need business verification and then you have to verify your own id card so for that you need passport identification card driving license or permanent residence proof you can provide any one of these documents so this will be your business verification form first step for you is to fill your Google account number. So let's assume I'm going to take this account number, which is there in the top of my account. So I'll go back and I'll paste inside the business verifications. And next here you have to enter the website, which you are using for your ads. So currently I'm, to, I'm going to use my own website that is gomahamaya.com in the second option. And next option we have is this website listed in two of the questions still above still use in this ad account you have to choose yes make sure you should enter the website which you are using for ads and next option which of the following reflects the best use of your ads so in this video i'll be using the options which is easier for you to do the business verifications or if you will if say we are agency we are uh, uh, employee we are xyz then the system become complicated so choose the options uh, wisely so make sure no further option should get open let's assume here if if i'll choose no then further options get open. So choose option wisely, which should not make further options open. So yes, we, we use this website. Yeah, we use it. I run ads for an individual or sole proprietor. You have to choose this one. And here you have to list down your company legal name. And here you have to choose country in which your con company is located. I am from India. So I'm going to choose India and here you have to write down the legal name and if I'll, I will show you my company. So currently it's I have two company. Number one is Gomahamaya Private Limited and number two is my own name. So I'm going to choose Rahul Kumar, my legal name in the company. This is a GST num legal name. So I'm going to use it in this area and here you have to choose the address. Next option we have is there is another business that manage a campaign or the cre campaign creation. So choose no. If you choose yes, you'll get a further option. So always choose or something which should not make it complicated. Choose no. And next you have to write down about you. So it's not about you who is filling the form. It's about the company. So I'm going to write down my name Rahul Kumar itself. And then I'm going to write down the company name, company name you have to write down and then you have to write down the company address. Make sure whatever the business registration address you have, you have to copy all the address which is there inside this and paste in this company street. Ad Let's assume I copied this, pasted in this area and now you have to write down the company city name. Let's say I'm in Gurugram and company zip code should be same as whatever there inside your business registration. So it's 122016 and you have to mention the email ID that you sign in with. So if you are doing for your clients, make sure you should enter your client email ID here from which your client is signing with this Google account as an admin. So now I entered the admin email ID in this area and next we have to write down the part three advertiser business model and the partnership. Now 
In the 12 point, we have described the company type of business. Here is example what you have to explain. We are authorized insurance agent and we sell insurance policies through brand X. Our site is an online store that allow people to buy details. Qualify leads for the home loans through authorized banks. So here you have to describe company type of business. So you can use uh, chat GPT for generating type of business you do how what your business actually do. So I have already generated data for my real estate business. We are certified real estate consultant offering a range of properties through partnership with Elan, Forest Developer, BPTP and these are the businesses we do. So I'm going to copy it um, and I'm going to paste in this area. Similarly, you can generate for yourself that you did a verific. Uh, let's assume you are a affiliate then you you can say that we have a partnership with xyz company and we uh, only refer our client and we get commissions in return similarly we rate uh, we get commission for helping customers for uh, property consultant that is the model and next we have uh, please describe the company business model type of business what the company does who are is customer so for 13 also we have generated all the data through chat gpt or we are a real estate consultant operates as a financial service provider in the real estate agency we are expert in the field of real estate who offered uh, advisory consultant offering and xyz detail i have written so i'm going to copy it completely and i'm going to paste in this area you have to answer all these types of business you are doing, what are the business do's and who are as customer. So you have to mention these details and next who are your customer target audience. So let's assume if we are uh, doing for real estate, then uh, in, uh, we, we target families who are uh, interested in buying houses. Uh, let's assume for uh, real estate investors and for uh, the people those who are looking for commercial so we have mentioned each and everything step by steps here so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste in this area you have to answer these three things you have to answer who is your target audience let's assume if you are doing digital marketing then your target audience will be people those who are uh, interested in Facebook ads, Google ads. So you have to mention here. You can refer these example to understand more or you can use chat GPT for generating your data. And next option we have is please describe how your company interact with the target audience. So our company interact with the target audience through chat, email support. We provide consultation meeting, email correspondence, phone support. So you have to mention all the support which you are offering to your client when you got the leads. So here you can see we provide direct support through chat, email and phone support. We are a portal that allow audience to connect business listed in our website. If you are uh, allowing people to connect through businesses, then you can choose a second option. But we, we generated a text through chat GPT and we listed here how our business model works. This is basically for the real estate verification I'm doing. So currently I'm going to paste the similar data. And next option we have in the 16th, we have to choose the option wisely. Let's assume if you are choosing first party, that means we own the product, services, advertise, responsible for the quality and everything. That means you are the manufacturer or distributor of the product. Then only you should choose first party. If you are an e-commerce business, then you should choose this one. Currently, we are going to choose for the brands reseller because we are uh, I'm doing verifications for real estate agent. So brands uh, reseller, we have to choose for the real estate. If you choose brands reseller, then you have a dealership, franchise, insurance agent. If you are an insurance agent, also you have to choose this one full service travel agent. If you are a travel agent, then you have to choose through brands reseller. And if you are through real estate agent, then you have to choose 
choose this one i'm currently doing verification i'm telling you multiple times i'm doing verifications for real estate company that's why i'm choosing the real estate agent and you should choose the option wisely if you are a product developer or the distributor then you should choose if you are the online portal then you should choose this one if you are none of them make sure you should choose the brand reseller if you don't know what your business is all about then choose other i don't know and next once you are done you have to choose a document which tells that you are a real estate agent so basically for the real estate agent we need a rera certificate so i'm going to upload through choose file although this is not mandatory but if you upload is better because google should trust that you are a real estate agent and if you are offering any insurance agent services then you must be having some agreement then you must upload it here whatever the screenshot what are the verifications you have just upload it okay next option we have a 17 one uh, any other relations required to provide the goods and the services advertised using the google on the website such as the parent company and the provider so for real estate company we need a developer relation but currently to for verification purpose instead of making complicated i'm choosing no fill choose yes again the complication increase and you have to fill the detail that will make you complicate things so uh, choose no wisely make sure it should not affect uh, business because we are just a service provider and there's nothing like i have to deal with the developer we uh, you want to buy a house we said buy this that is enough we 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 get a commissions so it's you are paying to developer we are you are, you are paying our service fee so we offer direct goods and service right so you don't need anyone so don't say yes in that case and choose the option wisely i always recommend you to choose option wisely and next option we have 18th so for 18th i have already chosen no we are not advertising agency and then no no so here you can see uh, does the company provide paid marketing paid uh, advertising so choose option no and then again no and then again no it's quite good right this will not affect your ads and next option we have 19th how describe how we target audience receive the goods or the service promoted in the google ads so inside the 19 here you can see so once the lead we get we connect with the audience and we tell we have this kinds of uh, services we provide consultation here you can see initial contact so me, make sure you should write each and everything uh, wisely so uh, first initial contact we get then we provide a consultation then we find a property to them and then property purchase or resale works so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste in this area so this is how you have to explain your business let's say if you are a insurance provider so what what you will say uh, we we connect with the clients and uh, next we show them a, a number of uh, insurance which must be good for them and then we provide our uh, services and we get commission in exchange and this is how you have to explain the target audience will receive the goods and services when you run ads you have to explain it properly and next option we have is 20 who create ads for this account so i have mentioned each and everything in this area we create ads 21 we create ads in the uh, in our website my company no no one else sign in so i have made it easy 20 we create ads uh, who create ads of the website we create ads and my company and in the 23 you have to choose uh, no we no one else sign in if you will choose yes and again for the drop down start it so choose no one else sign in inside the account it will not going to affect in the future so inside 24 i'm going to choose no and next we have uh, who pays for the google ads account so i'm going to write it here we are responsible for funding uh, advertising costs and managing associated costs so you have to mention it clearly and next option we have is your company required to have any of the following types of license certificate to provide the product or the services you advertise 
so in case of uh, uh, real estate we need a professional license that is rera license or if you are selling any services you need gst and so here i'm going to write down my license number of the rera so here you can see the rera number and who holds the license or the certificate so make sure you should write on your name whosoever company is that so make sure this this name and this name should match or 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 you might get found a issue with the verification so here you can see legal name is rahul kumar and if i'm writing something different here will create a mismatch if you are using normal business then you should choose government uh, certificate and here you should add a gst or the vat uh, number here and who holds on this number so uh, my name is rahul kumar so i'm going to write down my number and i'm going to enter gst number so here you can see this is my gst number and my gst number is going to enter here and here you have to upload a gst a uh, certificate and then how does your company protect the customer and his personal information so make sure you should have a policy that we do not share customer informations to so this one you can ask me through the mail i'll i'll forward you all the data you can fill it to the google form easily and here you have to enter your privacy policy let's say if i am running ads for this i have to scroll down and make sure you should have your privacy policy at the page this is important because each and every business need a privacy policy or the disclaimer at the bottom of the landing page or your or else your account will be suspended so i'm going to reach this area back and i'm going to paste my privacy policy and then here you have to add additional document such as the business proof so you have to upload it so you can upload any of these documents once you are done with the disclosing this you have a last option do you have any comments or the information that may be important so you have to write we have uploaded let's assume here i have mentioned we have uploaded gst driving license and the rera certificate people they say no but you have to mention what are the documents you have uploaded in this area for the verification so people if if let's assume they fail to see that document uh, in in that case okay they see a comment that we have uploaded this they they'll try to find it documents are really important and once you are done click on submit once you'll submit the form you'll see a bov business operation verification acknowledgement you'll get like this from the google and then after 3 days or 4 days uh, due to covid they might be taking sometimes extra like maximum 4 to 5 days they'll take and you will receive the business verification has been completed successfully for me it took only two days for the business verifications and make sure you should upload these documents for organization you should upload the business proof and your uh, authorize uh, government id card for the individual you should upload driving license or uh, passport like that you should upload it so that is mandatory for google google business operation verification i hope you find this video useful if you did give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates thank you